you're probably wondering where's Usher, where's Cricket Frost 2.0, where's the PSL, what am I talking about, why am I here on my own? Well, the reason why is because this is just a quick introduction just to say that I will be doing the PSL breakdown of squad. So this video, as you can probably tell, is going to be from two teams. So in order, I'm going to be doing Karachi and Peshawar Zami together in one video, then Islamabad and Multan Sultans in another video and Lahore and Quetta in the final video. So we broke it down to three videos, previewing each team, two teams per video, with Ashton from Cricket for Us 2.0. I hope you enjoy the videos, and that's all from me. Take it away, and enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you. Hey, guys, and welcome to Quality Shot. As you can probably tell by the massive picture in that's taking up most of the screen, you don't have to see myself and Ashton's faces as big as normal which is probably a good thing well i don't know it might be a bad thing a lot of people have been calling us should handsome and beautiful i think in the comments i haven't got it probably as much i don't <laughs> think anyway might be wrong um on the live streams i get it anyways enough of that we're going to be going over the psl uh 2021 uh restart so as you can probably see we are going to go through the squads very briefly though because we did a more i would say in-depth review um of the a replacement draft but there have been some slight changes as well since then so we'll go over that uh then we're going to go through i'm going to check with us and we're going to talk about maybe two or three of the players from each team that we think are going to have the biggest impact uh come the restart also the dynamic of the table uh, because we are going to be restarting so there are some teams out in front and also how the conditions in abu dhabi are going to impact i guess certain teams in a positive or negative way now that we've moved from pakistan to abu dhabi before we get into that ashjid how are you doing i'm good i'm good just uh excited about the psl finally starting after a lot of uh, talks here and there and then no psl yes psl pakistan uae england some people were talking about so you know very excited let's see how it goes Hoping for an Islamabad win, but, you know, I'm going to say that, aren't I? Uh, but, yeah, very excited to talk about PSL 2021 and the restart, obviously. Yeah, I mean, I'd, the England thing would have been crazy. I mean, what, might have actually been able to go to some of the games if that happened. That would have been great. Very weird, though. Very weird, but who knows. Anyways, anyway, okay, on to my team then, Lahore, because that's what I really want to talk about. Uh, Captain, uh, Sehar Lakhter, then you got Mohamed Afiz, who... He has been in very good form, but recently he hasn't been in, in as good a form, let's say. Uh, we've got uh, Shaheen Afridi, um, Rashid Khan, who's not there anymore, from what I know. Uh, Fakhar Zaman, James Faulkner, Harris Rolf, Tim David, Ben Dunk, uh, Dilbar Hussain, Callum Ferguson, Zishan Ashraf, uh, Salman Ali, Aga, Mohamed Fazan, Maz Khan, Zaid Alam, uh, Sikuj Prasanna, uh, Ahmed Daniel, and Sultan Ahmed. And I'm pretty sure we also have. I've forgotten his name. It's the Nepalese uh, spinner who's come in for Rashid Lama Khan. Lamachani. I'm pretty sure he's come in for um, he's come in for Rashid Khan, but I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, that's I think that's a mistake from HBL PSL official man. This is where I got it from anyway. Uh, right, Ashjid, top three players then for you for Lahore. Uh, Shaheen Afridi, obviously. There's no question about it. Like right now, considered one of the best. Yorker specialists around the world, probably in the top five, I think. Um, he's He's been good throughout the past year and a half. He's been very good. The only issue is he's been run into the ground, which is why I keep talking about, you know, maybe he needs a break. And he did get a kind of break, but it wasn't a big enough break, okay? So Shaheen Afridi definitely needs to not step up. He just needs to do what he's doing, right? He needs to be utilized the best way. So El Akhtar needs to decide how he needs to utilize someone like Shaheen Afridi. And once that's been allocated, I think he'll be one of those very, very important key factors, which could actually help Lahore get easily into the playoffs. Now, another player I want to mention is before another you, one of your boys, Sazan. <laughs> before you go on to that, though, it's probably worth noting because um, I think they've, I don't know what they've done with the squads, but Joe Burns and uh, Shakib Al Hassan are obviously in that squad as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. We'll talk about Shakib anyway. But in terms of, uh, you know, next place that I want to talk about was Fakhar Zaman. He looked good. He looked very good against South Africa. He looked all right against Zimbabwe as well. Uh, not the most, not the cleanest of hits, but those were pitch conditions and all that stuff. So here, they will be a lot flatter. It will suit him a lot more. 
And if the ball doesn't turn as much, it will help spin for sure. But if it doesn't turn as much, I think that's uh, that that'll be the best part, uh, the best place for Fakhar Zaman opening the batting, right? And he's gonna he's gonna get a lot of runs. I think that's 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 what I'm trying to say. Out of all of these guys, Hafiz can fire. You already mentioned Sohail Akhtar can bat. He had a pretty good T10 series as well. Uh, but Fakhar Zaman, based on his current change in form, coming back into form, I think Fakhar Zaman is going to be absolutely crucial. Uh, for Lahore Kalandis. You mentioned Lamechane's a uh, potential shout, right? In the side, there's no Rashid Khan anymore. Uh, we've got uh, Shakibul Hassan, we've got Joe Burns, right? Shakibul Hassan has not had the best time of it after coming back into uh, competitive cricket, let's put it that way, right? But in the UAE, this guy needs to bat a three. I wish, I hope, I pray, whatever I want to call it, right? I hope they don't make the same mistake that KKR made with Shakib Al Hassan when they played him like three, four games. He batted at between five and seven. Shakib Al Hassan batting five between five and seven in a team of a T20. Like it didn't make sense to me, right? So if Shakib plays, they have to have Fakhar Zaman and whoever else opens with them, right? Then you have Shakib at three, and then you have Muhammad Hafiz at four. Then you have Ben Dunk if Ben Dunk is playing. I think Ben Dunk is playing, isn't he? So Dunk at five, right? That's their top top. Uh, uh, five sorted, and then Sohail Akhtar, if Sohail Akhtar opens, or Sohail Akhtar bats a six, wh whichever way they want to kind of handle it, that looks like a pretty solid side, especially in in, in Abu Dhabi. They're, they've got big hitters, they've got players who can stay at the crease, and just Shakib al Hassan, man, he needs to play and be a regular for Lahore Kalandas. He needs to start off. He definitely needs to start off. But those are my three players. Yeah, I agree. He has to start off, and I think we just need to, whatever he wants to do, just let him do it, because he can win us yeah. games. Uh, Right, realistically, that's what we need to do with a battle ball, he, uh, or both even. So, I agree. I'd probably go with uh, Joe Burns and um, and Fakir Zaman to open up, um, mm -hmm. and then you've got Sehla at six. That's what I would do. But I guess you're probably burning up a few of your overseas. But oh, it's interesting. I'd probably go uh, Shakib Al Hassan. Um, obviously, Ben Dunk will be one. Um, then you've got Joe Burns, and who else? I'll probably go with someone like. I don't know. You can go with whoever you want, really. But Lamechane, right? You'll go with Lamechane if if you can. Yeah, because he's yeah. Very, very if good. I'm correct, I don't know if he. Maybe I'm wrong that he's not on the squad. Um, maybe maybe I was thinking of uh, Sikud Prasanna, who's a pretty decent oh, uh, player all rounder. So yeah. I reckon that yeah, either him or or Sikud Prasanna if uh, if he's not in that side. But yeah, I, I'm. I'm you go on. Sorry to interrupt, James Faulkner. Is he actually in the side? Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. He right. is a replacement. Okay. Yeah, Faulkner true. plays, right? Faulkner yeah. plays hundred percent because mm. yes, he, internationally he hasn't been in the Australian setup for a while. But what he can do in the UAE, he has nine different slower balls. Let's just put it that way. He has nine different slower balls. Whatever he does, he's effective, and he can come at six and se maybe even six and just absolutely smash the ball. Yes, he's not in the best of form now, but what he can do is show in the UAE. He can show why he he was considered one of the best all rounders a few years ago because on flat tracks he can do it with the ball, he can do it with the bat, and he's a fantastic fielder. Another player I want to talk about very quickly, and it's Lahore, so I want to take a bit of time on this for yourself, Fazan. Harris Rove is gonna get battered. All right, Harris Rove will be terrible in Abu Dhabi. He's not gonna open the bowling. He's gonna try and ball in the middle and then try and ball at the death. He's not going to nail his Yorkers. And I'm not being a pessimist. I'm just telling you, the way he bowls is not suitable for conditions like the UAE as much as it is in Pakistan or how he played uh, in South Africa. I think he's going to struggle, especially against sides which have big hitters at the end. He's going to struggle. He's going to get hit for at least 40 a couple of times in this uh, in this leg uh, of the PSL. So it's, it's a bit pessimistic, but... That's what I think. And I think that's why they need someone like James Faulkner in the side to bring that kind of dynamic uh, uh, dynamic side of things with the ball. You have someone yeah. who has that change of pace quite regularly. They can play Dilbert Hussain. They can play, uh, what was it? Uh, Maz Khan or Zed. I can't remember who the, you know, the young bowlers. Ahmed Daniel. Yeah, Ahmed Daniel. So yeah. I don't see Harris Rove being a consistent uh, player in this in this leg. Oh, really? Wow, yeah. that's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not going to say anything about Harris Roth because I always do, and I'm always wrong. Uh, apparently, I well, want to be wrong. Uh, I want to be well, wrong. Not, uh, not always, <laughs> to be fair. The start was okay, but 
to be fair, as a Lahore fan, I want him to do well. So let's see. Um, let's see. I'm nothing against him anyway, but let's see. I, I agree. I think he's, he's going to struggle a little bit because I feel like the variation and and people who are able to, um, which to be fair though, Harrisoff does has def- he has decent change ups. It's just how maybe he executes them. I think he's going to have to execute them very well uh, to get wickets. But I, I think Dilbar Hussain is going to be quite important for us. I think he'll play. I think he'll open the bowling with. Um, with uh, Shahina Freedy, and I think he's been really, really crucial. We could also go with Shakib to open with uh, Shahina Freedy. Why not? Uh, on a turning track. But let's see. I think we're a little bit. Uh, yeah, I think we'll definitely play uh, Shakib and uh, Sikhaj Prasanna, maybe if we want two spinners. But Mohammed Afiz can bowl as well now, which is good. Uh, that gives you an option. So let's see. But um, I, I don't know. I th- I'm, I'm quietly, cautiously confident about Lahore. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to go all the way. I I wouldn't put any money on it, although I don't bat. But if I was to, I wouldn't put it on them. Um, let's go on to Quetta then to finish up. So Safraz Ahmed, uh, Faf Tublesi, Andre Russell, uh, Zahir Khan, Mohammed Hussain, Mohammed Nawaz, Nasim Shah, Azam Khan, Osman Shinwari, Zahir Mahmood, Jake Wildermuth, and no idea who that is. Anur Ali, uh, Cameron Delport, Abdul Nasir, uh, Sa- Saim Ayub, who um, nice little left lefty actually, good bat. Um, Arish Ali Khan, Osman Khan. Kurum Shezar, Jake uh, Weatherald, again, not no idea who that is, and Hassan Khan. Uh, so two guys who, they seem like they may be English, uh, but I could be wrong, but I'm not sure who they are. And I'm I'm trying to look for, who was that uh, youngster who scored 50 plus? When? Uh, for Quetta, it was one of the, one of the last games. Was it not Saima Was it not Saima No, no, he, no, because he's a lefty, it was oh, a right-hander. It was Osman, Osman Khan. Khan. That's it. Osman, yeah. yeah, Osman Khan. I'm looking forward to him. Uh, but yeah, anyway, Ashton, yeah, what do you think then about uh, the top three players? Do you, you think for Quetta for their success going forward? Obviously, they are alongside Multan. They're at the bottom. When we the PSL first started, I think you and I both said Quetta yeah. should really win. My brother yeah. said the same thing as well. I still look at that side and I say they should. You know, if we were to start at zero points, I would look at that squad and say they're the best squad. What do you think? Uh, right now, yes, they look like one of the best squads. Look at look at the top three, Fazan. Just look at the top three. Safaraz, Faf, Andre Russ, okay? Safaraz Ahmed, absolutely fantastic so far in the PSL, right? I don't know. I think he scored almost 150 runs at a strike rate of 140, 150, averaging above 30. So he was doing very well, but he was the one batting at number four, number five, doing great things. Now, Faf Duplessis is an absolute genius with the bat. And in the UAE, I'm going to keep mentioning IPL because in the UAE last year, in Abu Dhabi, Faf Duplessis was a godsend for Chennai, right? He was one of the few players who consistently performed. He even performed this season in the IPL before IPL was kind of uh, postponed. So, yeah, he's he looks in pretty good touch. So, Faf Duplessis, Andrew Russell does not have the best time of it in the UAE personally, with the bat especially. But what he started to do, I don't know if you've seen this, but when he bowls at the death, he started to bowl around the wicket, bowling out, way outside off stump of a right-hander, okay? And that angle will help, especially if they play in the UAE and the sides are unequal, right? If they don't play in the middle pitch, they play on one of the side pitches, that would be a tactic that would definitely work against a lot of these sides in the PSL. Jake Wildermuth and uh, Jake Weatherald. I think one of them is an all... They're both Aussies. One of them is an all-rounder. I think Wildermuth is an all-rounder. and Weatherald is a pretty decent bat. I think he averages above 28 uh, in, in T20 strikes at above 130. So these guys are T2, not T20 specialists, but they're very uh, impressive Aussie uh, players. So that's why they've been brought in because maybe they need the money uh, because no one else wanted to show up for PSL 6. Uh, there's another player I want to mention. Uh, you mentioned uh, Usman Khan. I interviewed Arish Ali Khan. I've been waiting for him to play consistently. Let's see if he actually gets a chance. But if, and only if, Muhammad Nawaz, who has a stellar record in the UAE, in Abu Dhabi, right? He's been so, uh, not just Abu Dhabi, sorry, in the UAE in general, he's been crucial. His economy has been less than seven and a half. He's taken over 30 wickets while playing in the UAE. So compare his Pakistan numbers to his numbers in the UAE. There's a drastic difference that he's so much better in the UAE. So Muhammad Nawaz, will be one of my players that I'm looking forward to. Safraz Ahmed, I already mentioned. And I want to see how Zahid Mahmood goes. Because spin could win. The spin factor could be the thing that make 
uh, Queta Gladiator is quite dangerous. We, I talked about in our previous, like before PSL 6 actually started, I said they have Nasim Shah, Muhammad Asnan, they have uh, Dale Stain, they had uh, Anwar Ali potentially, they had uh, Ben Cutting, etc., etc. And I thought they would be a really, really dangerous side. But now it's the opposite. They're dangerous for a different reason. They're dangerous because of the spin factor that they bring in. Multan Sultan is another one with the spin, but I think they, Queta Gladiators, these two spinners, could actually be very, very crucial for them. So for me, it's Sahil Mahmood, Nawaz, and Safraz Ahmed. Dre Russ, unfortunately, doesn't have the best record, but I would like him to change that in the UAE. Mm. Well, I actually agree with you. I think Quetta, uh, after listening to you, but also just looking at it as well, I, I actually think Quetta have the better spin options um, with those two. I think they're really impressive. I mean... Mohamed Nawaz, for me, is just very good anyways. And I think in the UAE, considering how spin conducive it's going to be, he'll be really... I mean, he's going to be difficult to play against. He's economical and he gets wickets. It's just going to be carnage. And yeah. Zahid Mahmood as well is just... I feel like he's a wicket-taker. So that's going to be difficult. And I, to be honest, I know you said, obviously, about the seamers uh, maybe not having as much effect. But you look at this the options they've got. It's just crazy. Mohamed Hasnain, Naseem Shah, Osman Shinwari, Anwar Ali... Sorry? It seems he's injured. Is he injured? Oh, okay. Well, even then, Mohamed Asnain, Osman Shinwari, Anwar Ali. You know, I mean, look, those three, uh, Osman Shinwari is very underrated as well. Uh, I don't think he gets the props that he deserves. Um, a lot of people say that he should be playing for Pakistan now, considering if you look at his record, it's pretty damn good. Uh, but he is, uh, yeah, he, I think he'll have a pretty decent tournament. I'd imagine he plays most of the games. Um, Dre Russell, I'm really looking forward to seeing him. Uh, as you said, not maybe doesn't have the best record with the bat, but it's good to see him bowling as well. Let, I'm sure he'll have at least one knock where he just goes mental, uh, I'd imagine. Yeah, I, I want to touch upon one more guy very, very quickly. Azam Khan. Azam Khan at five or six for Quetta would be absolutely brilliant. I'm not a big fan of him being in the Pakistan squad, but him playing franchise cricket around the world, playing domestic tournaments, all that stuff, I'm a huge proponent of that. This guy is so dangerous that give him a couple of years and if he keeps performing this way, then yes, he comes into the Pakistan side. But Azim Khan is very impressive. He's got that brute strength about him. He is, and I'm not comparing anything, but to me, he's better than Shajil Khan in terms of smashing the ball, in terms of the clean hits, considering the past couple of years. Shajil Khan was great when he first started and when he played for Pakistan. But we saw in the T10 uh, league as well, it, which was in the UAE, right? <laughs> I think it was mostly in the Abu Dhabi as well. Azam Khan performed very well. He had two or three very, very good knocks. So it's really difficult to compare T10 to T20. But that just tells you that Azam Khan can come in at any place. And if you have five or six overs left, he can take the game away from you. So I'm very excited to see him as well. Yeah, I agree. And I uh, agree on your point about him uh, playing for Pakistan. I think he needs another year or two. Uh, but he's definitely an exciting prospect. And he... he Look, I, I think this is a really good chance for him to be rubbing shoulders alongside some of the best. I mean, someone like Andre Russell, Fafto Placid, if you can learn some things from them, then yeah. uh, it's only positive. Yeah, thank you very much, Darshad. I really appreciate it. And look, I'm sure everyone knows already, but if you don't, please do go and check out Ashda's channel, Cricket for Us 2.0. Go and like, subscribe, and of course, comment on all his videos. And please remember to do so here as well. Make sure you like the video. Uh, share the video and also subscribe to the channel. And I'm sure um, Usher will be bringing out lots of PSL content as well. Uh, the World Test Championship finals. Well, sorry. England versus New Zealand is starting at the same time. So that's going to be great. I'm looking forward to covering that and having no time on my hands. Plus also I want to be doing the French Open, which starts at the same time as well. So three different things going on at once. This is going to be crazy, but let's see how it goes. Okay, um, thanks very much, guys. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much.